Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Q&A. You guys have had a lot of questions about Jackson and just being a mom and all of that stuff. And there's a few questions just randomly about me. So I'm going to hop into those questions right after I say a big thank you to you guys for sticking around and showing so much love on my channel even though I'm a mom and it's kind of taken a different direction. You guys are honestly the best. I can't thank you enough. I've had so many people who say they don't even have kids and they love watching the videos still. So thank you and I'm sorry I've been a little MIA on the channel. I do upload once a week still, but I know that's a little less than I was doing before. So I've just been really swamped with work. I hope you guys understand, but I will try to get back on my YouTube game really soon. What does your daily routine look like with the baby? So every day is pretty much the same. Jackson wakes up around 7.30 in the morning. So I'll go grab him from his room, bring him to my room and snuggle him in bed, nurse him and just play. And then we'll head downstairs so I can have breakfast and we'll just play some more, listen to Disney music and all that fun stuff. So he's usually up for like two, three hours before his first nap and he naps for about an hour and a half to two hours. And once he wakes up from his nap, then we will head to the gym so I can work out. And he goes to childcare at the gym. He socializes, he's like the best baby in there, they say. He has a lot of fun, because I can see him like on the screen at the gym, I can see what's going on, which is awesome. And so I get a workout in, and once I'm done working out, we will go do any errands we need to do since we're already out. And we'll head home, play a little bit more, and he'll go down for his last nap of the day around 2 p.m., I want to say. And then he wakes up, we play, you know, typical baby mom stuff. And then we will do his bedtime routine, which starts around 6 p.m., which is bath time, lotion, jammies. We read a book, he nurses, and then he goes down around 6.45 or 7. So that's a pretty standard daily routine with Jax. How do you stay so motivated and consistent? You seem to have a lot to juggle and you seriously slay it all. That is very, very sweet of you. Thank you, but please know I do not have it all together all the time. I know I have like a crap ton to juggle. I have a lot on my plate because I have so many jobs just trying to do my best to stay a stay at home mom, but it does get overwhelming sometimes and I definitely have like mini meltdowns. But for the most part, I'm a very organized person and I just know that things need to get done. I have so many things that I do to stay organized. I have a video on that too, which I'll link down below. But that keeps my head above water, but I don't always have it together. Definitely have days where I'm overwhelmed and I just take too much on. Being a stay-at-home mom who works at home, it's hard to sometimes know if you're doing a good enough job as a mom because you have to work. And a lot of the time, like, Jackson will be in my lap while I'm doing emails, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should be, like, spending time with him. Like, I try and work a lot while he naps, but it that's not always possible if I have a lot of work to do. Like, this past month of January, I was working so hard on the website and on my business, and I had a bunch of cookie orders, and I was still teaching ESL classes that I was just, like, so exhausted. And now that it's February, and, like, my business part is done. I just feel so relieved. So some weeks, some months are harder than others. And I give myself a hard time a lot of the time. But I know that I'm just doing everything that I can to be at home with Jackson. So I don't know if any of that made sense. <laughs> but I don't have it all together all the time. I promise. What are your favorite 90s movies? I love the late 90s movies. Like, She's All That, 10 Things I Hate About You. Those are so good. I could watch them over and over and over again. And I really love Clueless, but who doesn't? It's just a classic. Now that Jax is sleeping through the night, how do you handle the breastfeeding aspect? Do you have to get up and pump in the middle of the night? How do you maintain breastfeeding when you're on the go? Jackson's feeding schedule has really calmed down. He eats about every three or four hours, so my body's kind of realized how much milk it needs to produce and I haven't really ever dealt with engorgement. I've never had mastitis or like been in so much pain that I had to relieve myself except for one time we went to a wedding 
where we were gone for like seven hours and I brought my pump with me but I was having too much fun drinking wine and dancing that I didn't go pump so by the time we got home I was like I have to relieve myself and as far as the middle of the night I don't get up to pump or feed him my boobs don't really like explode that much in the night so I think my body is just very used to how much milk it needs to supply and produce and as far as breastfeeding on the go I will totally do it I breastfeed in restaurants or out shopping or wherever I am I do have a cover I'm not comfortable to just whip out my boob and breastfeed for the whole world to see I know some moms do that and mad props to them like you do you but me personally I'm not comfortable doing that but I will nurse out in public with a cover on I have no problem with that do you think Jackson will grow up like his mom or dad regarding fitness or being a musician I think he'll look at Matt and think that what Matt does is pretty cool and want to do that even though Matt's like please don't do what I do but I do want to make sure he sees me exercise I want to have him exercise with me just make it fun it's really important for me to show him what a healthy active lifestyle looks like so he will want to live one for himself because I want him to be healthy and happy and live a long life how long did he wait to start doing light exercise like walking after giving birth? I started walking around the neighborhood about a week or two after giving birth to Jackson. I felt fine to do it and it was just nice to get out of the house and walk Jackson around in the stroller and chat with Matt so it was like our little family time. What are some of your goals for this year? Be a good mom and continue being a stay-at-home mom and make sure that all of my different business ventures are successful. I am wondering if you feel like you need to find yourself again. Once my babies started growing up, I felt like I lost a piece of myself and had to learn to rediscover myself and personality all over again. So I definitely think when you become a mom, you change as a person. You become very selfless and your role in life changes. You are this little baby's everything. And so I think with that, you can kind of lose a sense of who you are. I think it's so important to get those things back and to make time every week to do the things that make you you and do the things that you love to do. It's very important to get that me time in. And I know it's not always easy, but ask for help. Ask for someone to come watch the little one for maybe an hour just so you can go do something that you enjoy or do something while they're napping. Self-care is so important. So don't lose that part. I think in the beginning it's definitely all baby, but once you kind of get in the flow of things, get that balance back and do things for you. How do you de-stress? I take a bubble bath just about every single day while Jackson is napping, or I'll wake up extra, extra early in the morning before he's woken up and I will just soak in the tub. That is my favorite way to de-stress and it's like become a part of my daily routine i know some moms will think that i'm crazy that i have time to do that even if it's literally two minutes of a hot bath that's all i need what's your favorite bless the fall song i would probably say it is bottom feeder possibly i think that's the one um but i really do like their new song that just came out which is melodramatic. If you guys have not heard it, you've got to go give it a listen. I'll link it down below, but it's really good. And their new album is, it's gonna be lit. I never say that word. What are some easy meals that you make? I love this easy meal of just roasted vegetables and rice. It's like the one thing that I've been making all the time lately. I just love putting all my favorite vegetables chopped up onto a baking sheet all together with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I roast it at 400 degrees for like 20-25 minutes, put it over rice, and that's all. Like, it's just delicious and so easy to make and it's so good for you. How does it feel to have the cutest damn baby I've ever seen? <laughs> You're so sweet. I love Jackson. I'm absolutely obsessed with him. I think he's the cutest baby in the world, but I know that everyone says that about their own baby. But oh my gosh, like you guys have no idea how obsessed I am with him. I just look at him and I could just scream because he's so cute. What's been your approach for Jackson's sleep schedule? How did you transition him to his own room? Any advice? 
So my approach to Jackson's sleep schedule was learning as I went. There's just so much information out there and every baby's different, every parent's different, every schedule is different. So it's really hard trying to like adapt so many other people's ideas into our lives. We definitely tried it. And like, if it didn't work, then we'd move on to the next thing. We just realized, you know, you have to do what you think. You have to do what works for you. And what worked for us was moving him to his own room. He actually slept better there. I've read and spoken to other people who had the same experience that some babies do better closer to their parents and some babies do better further away. So he definitely, I guess, likes his independence. If you could go back in time and do anything in your life differently, what would it be and why? So I'm definitely one of those people who are like, no regrets, everything happens for a reason. I do believe that very much so. There's one thing I wonder about, kind of regret, and that was regarding me going back to grad school to become a teacher. It just wasn't a job that I was ever interested in pursuing or passionate about. And I just felt like I needed a nine to five job. So I went back to school to do that. And now I have so many student loans and I'm not even teaching. So that's kind of frustrating and something that I kind of regret. But at the same time, I did learn a lot being a teacher. And it's kind of cool to say like, I'm a master's because it makes me feel smart. Honestly, like that's what it makes me feel. But I do think everything happens for a reason and that was just something that I had to do. And even though I have debt now, I'll figure it out. Favorite and least favorite character on This Is Us. Also, why on Super Bowl Sunday? I'm not ready. I'm not ready either, girl. Like, oh my gosh. That last episode, I lost my shit. I was crying so hard for so long. I had a headache. It was a disaster. So Sunday's episode, it's going to be very difficult. But yeah, my favorite character on This Is Us is Jack. He's so handsome. He's such a good dad, such a good husband. I know he has like his Achilles heel, which I think every character has, but he's just like the best, you guys. I love him. And then my least favorite character is probably Miguel. Not because he was Jack's best friend, but because he just seems very pointless and just like, meh. I don't know. I just don't like him. He's kind of pointless. I think they threw in that relationship because they wanted more drama as if we need more drama. But she could have moved on with anybody else. She could have moved on with someone who has a personality, in my opinion. But other than Miguel, I do not like the old man that gifted them the freaking crock pot. So that will conclude today's Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video if I survive this Sunday's episode of This Is Us. Oh, and happy Super Bowl Sunday. I guess there's that too.